going to show you how to, when we want a new project, you'll always see this one. So I'll click on new project. Now the thing you need to do is to give your project a name. I'm going to call mine cut min one. And notice how this is automatically still run problem. So select from the list. If you don't have one installed, okay. So then you just click on the next button. From here it's just showing you that it's going to give you a need to change these at all, just click on finish and it's going to start configuring your code. Now, one. now this is a folder, click to open the folder, look at the source folder now, so click on main from this and there we have our we're going to execute today. Now if you double click on this you'll see it's already been given for you and you can just start from here to run and run from here or you can use a shortcut on the keyboard. So let's just select this one. Now it's asking which class you're going to run. We're using the main case on the button there and run. So now it's going to go just about finished. And there it is. So here is the console window. And there is the output, hello world. And the library's together. And the Java archives. And is executed. Here you can see it's going to print, hello world. And there it is, hello world. And here we have no error. So let's just change this just to show you that so let's print hello Kotlin, and now this is a new new code, so it will need to be through the process. At the bottom you can see it's building, you'll see the, the progress bar and any output messages. So at the minute it's compiling the code, it's finished, it's linked in its left.